So how many of y'all out there are crazy MFers? Well, I know I am, because that's my favorite thing to do in Diablo 2 Resurrected, getting out there and magic finding. There's nothing that really matches the thrill of dropping some incredibly rare item, especially when it's one you've been searching after for a very long time. Now, here right in the video today, I'm going over every single piece of magic find gear you can get. I'm going to go over kind of where you kind of want to use it, what it can roll up to, and all that good kind of stuff. And I'm doing all straight off the dome. So I got a challenge for you. Watch the video all the way through and see if I miss anything. And go down in the comments and literally call my ass right out if I do actually miss anything. Also, don't forget, if you do like the video, make sure you slap that like button and subscribe up so you never miss any of the future Diablo 2 Resurrected content. Now, let's get after it. Alrighty, for the first one, we're going to jump into one of the most uncommon pieces of magic find gear you can find in Diablo 2 Resurrected, and that's the Shaco, aka Harlequin's Crest. Obviously kidding, but you get 50% magic find on it right off the bat. Almost always someone sticks a topaz in it to get you up to 74. Of course, it has two dull skills, life, mana, damage reduction, an absolute go-to you see everybody running around with this piece of gear on all the time because it's so amazing. Now, when you jump into other different types of gear, there's a, a budget option such as the Tarnhelm that also has magic find on it. But I would generally go for even something different than the Tarnhelm for a budget option. And that is simply getting a three socketed helmet, dropping some topaz in it, getting you that 72% magic find. This is the beginning of ladder go to for any magic find character, because obviously you can get gems like anywhere. Three socketed helmet you can find almost anywhere as well. And that's pretty much the options for helmets as far as end game and as far as uh, budget options as well. Obviously, if you're on a magic find character, some cases you want to have more damage, more cast rate. So really, you might not want to stack necessarily magic find up here. One instance I could think of is the Nova Sorceress you want to have on a Griffin's Eye or a Javazan. But when you're speaking of magic find gear specifically, the Shaco is an absolute go to. Now we'll slide down to armor here. And once again, on this very character, this is a necromancer, but the Enigma is absolute crucial clutch go-to. This one has a 94 magic find. That's because it's based on your character's level. So it obviously has crazy tons of other stuff on there. It's why almost every character that magic finds uses this. Even if you're a sorceress, throw yourself on an Enigma because you get the two to all skills. You don't need the teleport even, but you get a ton of strength, which then you can put those stat points into your vitality instead of strength. You have max life, uh, damage reduced, life after kill, absolute bananas on top of that. Obviously an absolute go-to for magic find. An absolute classic that used to be incredibly sought after back in the day before things like Enigma existed was Skulders. That one also uh, has magic find. And then you actually can throw a topaz in on top of that as well, getting it up even higher. It does have a little bit of other stuff on it too, but mainly it was the go-to for magic find gear. There is also a rune word, Lemco Tear, which can make you a wealth. But in general, in my opinion, I would never make this particular magic find armor. I think the Lem rune and even just the Co rune isn't really worth it because you can get the same amount of magic find. And that's almost all that's on that rune word is magic find by just taking a four socketed armor, sticking in four perfect topazes, getting you darn near 100 magic find on your armor. Now, this is one I use sometimes, but a lot of times I'll put other gear here, maybe a Viper Magi, or even just stick with a Stealth to help out your kill speed while you're magic finding, instead of exactly putting on that four socketed armor with the Topazes as a budget option. But absolute go-to, best in slot, BIS, we're talking about the Enigma. We'll slip right down, we'll just go to straight line down the middle, and we're looking at the Gold Wrap. And actually, as for belts, as far as I'm aware, this is about the only option. This is not used quite as often because a lot of times in the belt slot, especially if you're a caster, you're going with the Arachnid's Mesh. One all skills, you got the cast rate and stuff like that. But if you don't really need the clear speed from the one all skills, you don't need the FCR from the belt as well. Gold Wrap is a great option, and that's why I decided to throw this on here on my Necromancer. And it does start off as a heavy belt. I even upgraded it so you can go ahead and get extra slots of potions right there. So on the belt slot... We're talking about the gold wrap. Now we'll jump over next to the belt and we're talking about the boots right here. And absolute go-to, obviously, we're looking at War Travelers. They can have up to 50% magic find on these. They do have some other little stuff like 10 to strength and 10 to vitality, but mainly a fat 50% magic find here on the War Travelers. Now, a lot of times when I'm magic finding, I don't have them right here on me, but really rare boots are a great option for magic finding. 
you can get a, a lot of magic find. I don't remember exactly what they go up to, but uh, maybe 25? Could be wrong there. Maybe it's 35 or 40. I can't remember offhand. I mean, you get a ton of things. Walk, run, you get a bunch of hit recovery, which can be absolutely crucial. And you could get things like a bunch of resistances. tri -res boots are absolutely go golden on this game. And you can get a bunch of magic find there too. So over on the boot slot, war traps or rare boots are going to kind of be your options. Now, a lot of times on Amulet, you, this is where you're generally going to have things to help out your kill speed, survivability, and cast rate because there isn't an, an easy to get go to magic find option here that's going to be really, really great. You go with something like that, uh, there's going to be caster amulets, or there could even be Mars Kaleidoscope you're going to go with. But if you want to get something crazy, GG, you could find something insane like this. Three to cold skills, almost 30% magic find if you really have to get the magic find gear on your character so even with this particular one if you are rocking a cold skill character a lot of times i would actually even pass this up and go with a really good caster amulet if it had all res cast rate uh, maybe something a little bit better than that one but here we 30 to strength 54 to mana absolute bananas so even though you can get some good magic find either a little bit on rare amulets or magic amulets i would generally in this slot not go with magic find gear personally person now we'll jump into a spot that has a ton of options and it's actually the empty spot on this character but we'll stick to this one right in here the first one i'll talk about the isted oculus or just the oculus oculus itself now it starts off with 50 percent magic find and it is just for the sorceress but this is my preferred and go-to option for those sorceress sorceresses which are used all the time with the ist you have up to 80 percent magic find and in this particular slot across all characters there's probably half dozen different options I'm about to talk about here a ton of things that can really boost up your magic find now I don't know if I have examples of all these right here so maybe I'll just fly in some images right now there's things like the gull dagger a hundred percent magic find on your weapon now personally I would never use this because you can get so much better stuff off of your weapon and then you could slap actually magic find in other places so your kill speed will be much faster and you'll have the same amount of magic find so generally I would never use a gull dagger personally personally but that's just me let me know down in the comments if you use it all the time perhaps now as for other options it wouldn't necessarily be a weapon on your main hand a lot of times this would be on your offhand but maybe if you're a sorceress really trying to stack it up you can either go with a six isted phase blade or a six isted crystal sword depending on if you're a sorceress or um throwing it on the offhand for a barbarian uh, i could remember off the top of my head here i think they actually changed it so you didn't need to do a six isted phase blade anymore because the increased attack speed from a Barbarian would now be based off of your main hand that you're attacking with, instead of uh, both of them in a little swip swap way it was back in the day. But um, either way, six socketed swords with six ists in it, 180% magic find. I've seen sorceresses throw it on their main hand just to get a ton of magic find. And then, like I said, Barbarians dual wielding, having a grief in one hand and having a isted phase blade in the other hand, to get a ton of magic find on things like their pit circers. Now there's even more options. Another one I'll fly in right here with my crazy, crazy video editing skills right now, and that is an Alibaba. Obviously you can go ahead and throw Ist runes in it as well because it has two sockets to get even more magic find. Uh, this is one that I may use early on. I don't know. It's kind of in the same uh, vein as the Gull Dagger. A lot of times on the weapon slot, there's ways that you can get way more uh, out of it, I would say in form of kill speed, cast rate, survivability from all res. Like if you're talking about uh, even just a spirit sword, a couple of skills, cast rate, a bunch of mana and things like that, I would rather have over an Alibaba. A lot of times that kill speed and stuff like that will help you out way more than, you know, a hundred more magic find. You can usually get that in other spots uh, that we're gonna talk about a little bit later or we've already talked about. Now there ain't a ton of crazy options as far as talking about shields. I mean, every caster is going with a spirit, right? But there can be occasion, especially early on, if you're doing like a Zerker or something along that lines, throw on a Rhyme Shield. Now, it only has 25% Magic Find, but that is a little bit to help you out. But it has a lot of other things to help you out, more specifically for melee characters. It's got Cannot Be Frozen, absolutely a must-have. It's non-negotiable. You have to have Cannot Be Frozen on a melee character, or you're just going to be stuck in the mud all of the time by all the different elites and things like that. Now, you could... I couldn't really think of uh, any time that I would want to do this necessarily, but you could go with a four isted monarch if you really wanted to stack up the magic find over there. But I feel like that would just be 
pretty much kind of a waste. Besides that, uh, for shields? Oh, let me know in the comments if I'm forgetting anything, but I don't believe there's really any other great options. Alrighty, we got a couple more gear spots left here, and we're going to the gloves. And yeah, Chance Guard's an absolute go-to. If you're a caster, a lot of times you're going to have Mage Fist or Trang's gloves or maybe a Nova Sorceress or any other person that needs manas using those Frost Burns. But if you're not, perhaps like my Singer Barb here, all I need is my Dual Heart of the Oaks. Get some cast right here. Ractus Mesh. I don't need any more faster cast rate on this character. Don't really need more, um, you know, kill speed of any kind or anything. So I got more magic find on the gloves. They can go up to 40. On top of that, you do get a bunch more gold find, I suppose. And look at that. Two to light radius. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. But the, the chance guards are about the only magic find option that there really is. There are definitely rare gloves that can get some magic find. I believe those might go up to 25 on some lucky rolls. So... Maybe if you got some 220 Java gloves along with maybe a resistance or two and some magic find would be an option definitely there. But those are probably so hard to find. The chance guards are the most well known and I really use these literally all the time. And we'll just slide it over nice and easy right to that. We haven't talked about the rings yet. And the Nagel ring is absolutely crucial and it's about the only option here at the rings. Now. Uh, 30 magic find is good to get there and it's another spot where maybe I could go ahead and throw on SOJs to get some more uh, kill speed from one all skills but how much is that really going to help me at this particular point for this particular character so I decided to throw on some Nagel rings. Now you can get actually magic rings that can get up to 40 magic find on them. They are actually incredibly uncommon though and it's really not worth even trying to get. Why don't you just throw on the pretty darn easy to obtain like 28, 29, 30 magic find Nagel rings and just call it a day. I don't think it's really worth trying to track those down. You can once again get a little bit of magic find on a rare ring, which I do tend to try to get, but I think it might only actually go up to like 15 perhaps. I don't think I've ever seen like 25 magic find rare rings. So that might be one that only goes up to like 15. A lot of times you get like 12 or something on them. So I do use those on occasion, but Nagel rings absolute go-to magic find rings. But there's a little bit right down below in the inventory that we also got to talk about too. And that's magic find small charms. Now you can't get them in large and grand charms, but in general, I would never use those. You get more bang for your buck, AKA uh, like a grand charm. I don't remember what they go up to on the magic find, but if you, um, a grand charm takes up three inventory slots and you get 21 magic find here on these uh, small charms in three slots, I think grand charms might go up to like 12 max. Could be wrong there, but I know it doesn't go over 21 and large charms are actually even worse. Large charms that take up two spots, their max magic find is actually six. Not sure why that is. It's not even eight. It's not even one more than a large charm. It's actually less. Not sure how that ended up into the game that way, but it's just a little quirk of the game or whatever like that. That ended up uh, being with large charms being worse than small charms somehow. And we'll jump over to another charm, obviously, Geed's Fortune. Wasn't in the game originally back in the day, but eventually at some point they added in this unique grand charm can go up to 40 percent magic find so any magic find character you have to have one of these in your inventory if you made it to the end you must have liked the video so make sure you hit the like button and subscribe up for future diablo 2 resurrected videos remember head down in the comments anything you think i missed i'm not foolproof maybe i forgot something with this shiny ball dome right up here peace out fellas and don't forget keep slaying